I remember when I met you that day, you told me a story that you were once brought into WCW to uh, to get some advice and had a dinner with Hulk Hogan. So maybe you could also share that story because it was pretty interesting. Yeah, I was flown in. Uh, actually, it was after Owen Hart's death. He died in 99. And I was flown in to uh, WCW for a Monday Night Raw. And, and Bobby Heenan was the interviewer, and they brought me in to talk about angles. And Bret Hart had set that up for me. And and uh, we had a meeting. I discussed some angles with them and what have you. I suggested that you know some of the things they could do to make the show more popular. And had a great visit with Bobby Heenan, who was a terrific guy. Uh, may he rest in peace as well. And uh, then we had a dinner at the end of that, and uh, we went to a restaurant, and Hulk Hogan was there, and uh, the God, there was a big table. There was about eight of us. Brett was there. I think Brett would recall this. And I remember sitting at the table, and Hulk Hogan, he was, you know, he was an interesting guy, Hulk Hogan. I was around him numerous times. And not one of my favorite people. Uh, I just found him to be somewhat arrogant. And you could tell the vanity and the ego of him was certainly a big piece of his personality. Uh, I kind of wish I'd got a chance to know him better because I'd like to have been more, maybe have an opinion about him based on more of an experience. But I'll never recall, or I do recall the fact that he ordered a big steak and we're all sitting at the table uh, uh, eating at this restaurant, uh, which was closed off to the public. And at the end of the dinner, he just got up and walked out of the restaurant. And the waiter came over and, and with the bills for the table. And and the, they said, Mr. Hogan's bill is here. And he just got up and walked away and didn't even pay his bill. I don't know to this day if they pursued him and got him to pay the bill. But I thought that was rather arrogant on his part. And uh, yeah, I, I just have to say, in all honesty, I, I never had a real good opinion about him. Even in the Saddle Dome, in my last show, he did something that I, I never really forgot and felt really bad about. Was that when we had the arena packed, there was 22,000 people in there. And it was in Calgary in the Saddle Dome. And uh, it was during a time when there was a bunch of young showgirls there who were a part of the stampede which is a great big event here in calgary and they were waiting outside the dress room and they all asked if they could get hulk hogan's autograph and they were waiting he came out the door and they were all standing there these young girls 16 17 year old with cowboy hats on and they were you know really sweet young girls and he just snubbed them and walked right by them and wouldn't sign it and you know i, I was really disappointed by that so I took their their programs that they had and I took them in the dressing room and I asked all the guys to sign them and there was the British Bulldogs and everybody was there and they all signed them and I took them back out and I give the these programs that were all signed to these young girls and I apologized about Hulk Hogan but little things like that sometimes create lasting memories and unfortunately I don't have a lot of great memories of my association with him. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.